Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I will be sharing a screen with you guys because I have a dark case for you guys. You might have heard this one. This was about a lady from Arkansas. So y'all, it's weird hearing cases from Arkansas because I live in Arkansas. I know who lives in Arkansas, right? But I, I do live here, okay? I live, in, I live here. This woman was pregnant and she was picked up by a couple and she ended up working for them at home. She ended up going into labor. Somehow the woman passes away. The baby passes away. So many lies up in this case, y'all. Turns out that the woman and her husband ended up trying to cut the baby out. Not only the darkness of like cutting a child out of a womb, y'all, they planned this. That's the reason they gave her the job because they wanted her baby. So I swear, I remember hearing about it. I just never read about it. So I just heard the lady i know her trial is coming up soon that's why it's back in the story but can y'all just imagine i always say don't do it but you know imagine cutting somebody like a pregnant woman's belly open they lied and tried to say that the woman went into labor little did they know they're the ones that killed her and the baby died because of that situation so let's get into it woman killed pregnant victim she met on facebook tried to cut fetus from womb and claim unborn child as her own and that is her and that is the one in the corner who was pregnant her name is ashley bush and this is amber waterman she's 44 and the, um, the lady was 33 guys you know is it Y'all y'all know it's your handmaid's tale. You know, if you can't get pregnant or you're you know, you you're trying and you can't get pregnant, um, there's other ways. You don't have to like kill a pregnant woman for her baby. And mind you, she met this woman on Facebook. So you also can't trust people on Facebook. Y'all gotta start communicating with people from Facebook market, from jobs. I don't I wouldn't even I wouldn't trust a job on Facebook. I just wouldn't trust anybody on Facebook. I go on there and post on there because I'm like, oh I want people to see me. But I'm like, I know I had a lot of friends on Facebook from my other town which I was still talking to but you can't trust them either so just be careful who y'all talk to online y'all you just never know it was one I wish I wonder if this is it actually um yeah I remember the one with that girl she got killed because she went to go buy baby clothes um, from a marketplace and they killed her a couple a 44 year old woman from Missouri admitted this week to kidnapping and killing a 33 year old pregnant woman from Arkansas and her unborn child in a botched scheme to steal the mother's to be baby and claim the unborn child as her own. You know, I don't understand how people think they get away with this stuff. I've seen the Y'all remember that Lifetime movie, which I think it was real. The woman who had that child, well, she stole that baby out the womb and eventually they tracked her down. But it's like, yeah, because they know she was pregnant and they're going to test stuff. There's a lot of stuff they go into that. You're not going to get away with that. Um, I just can't believe that really do go through some people's heads. Be sick. But you know what's crazy? Maybe I, uh, getting the psychological part of it, what if what if she had a baby and she lost it? You know, a lot of this stuff, I don't know. They could just be crazy. Now, mind you, okay, they could just be crazy. But mind you, a lot of people would do this stuff because of trauma that they had a baby, that they, they're jealous of seeing somebody else with a baby and their eye, they're so focused on that person trying to get that child now. But maybe she lost the child. Mind you, um, go to hell. That doesn't mean any of this is right. But she could have lost the child. She could have... You know, something could have happened to that baby and she just, she blamed herself and now she wants to have a child again and can't, or maybe she can't have kids. Who knows? But like I said, there's always other options. Obviously, these people weren't meant to be parents because it's like, look what happened. Y'all are effing crazy. Amber Waterman appeared in federal court in Missouri on Tuesday where she formally pleaded guilty to one count of kidnapping resulting in death and one count of causing the death of a child in utero. In the 2022 slaying of 33 year old Ashley Bush and her unborn Val Valkyrie Willis, authorities announced. This horrific crime resulted in the tragic death of two innocent victims, U.S. Attorney for the Western District said in a statement. Today's guilty plea holds this defendant accountable for her action and ensures that justice will be served. She is now subject to a mandatory sentence of life in federal prison without parole. And mind you guys, that's the husband. 
Her husband, Jamie Waterman, has also been charged in Bush's death. He is facing one federal count of being an accessory after the fact to kidnapping resulting in death. Prosecutors allege that he assisted his wife in covering up the crime despite knowing she had kidnapped and killed Bush. His trial is currently scheduled on October 21st. According to a news release from the federal prosecutors, Amber Waterman admitted to killing Bush from Maysville and transporting her to Pineville, both of which are in Arkansas, resulting in their death. Waterman used a false name, Lucy, to contact Bush via Facebook while the victim was 31 weeks pregnant. Waterman pretended to help Bush get a job by pretending she had an opportunity the victim could fill. That interaction prompted an in-person job interview between the two women on October 28, 2022, at a public library in Gravette, Arkansas, where Waterman offered Bush a work-from-home position for a company based out of Arkansas. Y'all know it's crazy that they planned all of that and like really thought they like they really thought they were gonna get away with this. And it's sad that you have people like you got people really like preying on their vulnerabilities. Like this woman was obviously looking for a job. She had a baby to raise. And it's like they really really preyed on this woman and that's what's I think the scariest part is like you did all this that's how sick people are you did all of this just to like take somebody baby mind you people are really creepy and then she met in public so of course you would think it's a normal job um, I would but you gotta ask a lot of questions before you take a position anyway you asked a lot of questions I'm like how legit is this because I met you on Facebook especially when it's on Facebook y'all if you don't have I feel like nowadays if you don't look thinking about regular jobs rather than like um you know jobs where you go, like hospital not like those main big corporations but let's say work at home jobs if you don't know somebody that worked there it's really like hard to really trust it you gotta have so you gotta know somebody who has worked there before who can give you advice to know if it's true but you just it's really hard to tell with the work from home jobs y'all those are the creepiest ones nowadays on october 31st 2022 at 11 45 a.m they met each other at the Handy Stop convenience store in Maysville. Under the pretext that Waterman was taking her to meet a supervisor to further discuss employment, Bush got into a truck driven by Waterman. Waterman then kidnapped Bush and drove the pregnant woman to their home in Pineville. At about 5 p.m. on October 31st, 2022, first responders reported to the Longview store in Pineville for an emergency call to a baby who was not breathing. The release states, Waterman admitted that she claimed the first responders that she had given birth to the child in the truck while on the way to the hospital. But in reality, she admitted the child was Bush's child who died in utero as a result of Waterman's kidnapping that resulted in the death of Bush. Now, I wouldn't even trust somebody taking me somewhere. I can get there by myself. I don't want, if I don't know you, I'm not getting in the car with you. I'm not, I will meet you there. The fact that that escalated so fast. I don't know why I thought she moved in with them. I thought she worked like stay working with them. But it escalated so fast right after they tried to say, let's go meet a super, well, right after the woman said, let's go meet a supervisor, then killed her. And then tried to say the baby was hers. How sick minded can you be? Now, I don't say mental, I don't like believe a lot of people have mental illness. I believe a lot of people are just evil. But with these cases of pregnant women, and like for some reason, like when it's this dark, I feel like there are like some factors that play into it because like that's not a normal thing to do. Not what would tell you to like cut somebody stomach open and take their child. I don't understand why would you do that she was 30 weeks 31 weeks um even if that child was born at 31 weeks wouldn't that be t that's still that's like almost full term right because that's in the 37 weeks i think y'all i might be slow but that baby was, was almost full term so if you would have and and could have most likely bled out or this is not a medical procedure this was pure just ripping apart and taking the baby out sorry how graphic that sound because that was really graphic to me because i just kind of um pictured it but like i don't know why i'm getting a sight which don't y'all i'm not trying to make a joke but i am getting a sight for some reason of that baby from is it see the chucky bride of chucky i think it was bride of chucky that's when he was with that baby and that was that glinda the baby was glinda anyways you know when she had that creepy looking baby i feel like that's what i'm picturing like i said they really prayed up on this woman and they really like this woman who killed her the 
suspect. She was literally determined to get that child one way or another. What would this have looked like when somebody see that? Like, you could go to the... They, they could do an autopsy and easily say that she was, like, ripped or cut open. They could see a... They can tell, a pre, like, a precise precision from a hospital versus somebody doing like just stab it like just stabbing somebody and taking the child they could see all of that you could see if a baby was detached and how the baby was detached so i don't understand what her goal was was she gonna say the girl was robbed and somebody stole her child like they're not gonna track blood splatter and you know footprints near and what the tire marks they forensics track all of that when people think they're gonna get away with stuff they're really not because stuff still come up evidence still come up like 30 years later people y'all they still solving cold cases so it's like i don't understand what her goal was but that's wild that she really tried to say that baby was hers. A subsequent autopsy determined that Bush's manner of death was a homicide and the cause of the death was penetrating trauma of the torso, which is just stabbing. Well, not just, but it's stabbing. She stabbed her in the torso. Ugh. Authorities say that Waterman shot and killed Bush, then used a knife to try and remove the unborn child from her uterus. Waterman also attempted to burn Bush's body. So she not only stabbed her, she shot and killed her first then used the knife to stab her stomach to rip her stomach open and take that baby out the baby died resulting of this like what when you kill a pregnant mother and i only know this because of the stuff i've seen and witness and you know witness from the stuff i see and i watch a lot of hospital stuff which i think is true but i also watch real videos they say once the mother is like past deceased like a lot everything's cut off not knowing how long stuff is cut off immediately so you you know the scary thing about that is that you have to get that baby out of there let's say if she was on the hospital table and she died they would have to hurt and cut that baby out because the baby would lack oxygen so the fact that she did that it, it's just i think she was watching too much tv y'all federal law mandates that she be sentenced to life without parole in federal prison and that's her scheduling date october 15 2024 they should have gave her death Joshua Robinson, the prosecuting attorney for Benton County, Arkansas, had already stated that he intends to prosecute Waterman in the state court and seek the death penalty. She is charged with two counts of capital murder and one count of kidnapping in Benton County. However, federal authorities have refused to give prosecutors from Benton County access to Waterman, according to a report for the, from the Northwest Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Robinson said he continues to fight for capital punishment at the behest of Bush's family. We let the U.S. Attorney Office know pretty quickly, if you all get the approval to seek death row, we'll back off. We'll dismiss our case as long as somebody can do what the family wants. Bush said last month in an interview with Fort Smith, Arkansas, we never believed that the United States Attorney General would approve that. He is outwardly opposed to the death penalty, and I understand that. We just kind of had what we thought was a realistic viewpoint of how that would play out and that's how it played out. Look y'all, I know a lot of people are opposed to the death penalty. You know what, capital punishment, oh those crimes are crazy because you know those are the worst ones and they do need the death penalty for this stuff. I get it, you have your morals, but there are some people that just don't belong here and I think we need to say it again. There are some people that just don't belong with the rest of the human population. That's just what it is. What you want me to say? A lot of these people, like, think about, like, what is life in prison? They get to eat every day. They get to sleep. They get to live off taxpayer money. But the victims that they're killed, that they kill, won't be here no more. So I think if you start looking at it like that and looking at exactly what they did, I'm telling y'all, if people start picturing it, I feel like it'll be different. Because you really got to imagine she shot that woman, killed that woman, stabbed her in the stomach, ripped her stomach open, ripped that baby out burned her body or tried to attempt to burn the body the baby died because of this she killed two people in such a gruesome way and you have to like you have to imagine that that's how sick these people are not only that she set all of this up to prey on this woman you made a fake job picked her up went to go take her to a supervisor pulled over then killed her so y'all the planning that it took for this all in such a short manner like you literally is, is so premeditated went on facebook y'all it's just non-stop she definitely deserved death i think anybody who commit these crimes like this deserved death think about that child who was almost born like weeks away from being born
and the baby died because of this woman and her husband. So yes, I know people are opposed to like, you know, the death penalty, but be realistic, okay? What, is it, do people see it as inhumane? It's inhumane if it's like not justified, if they don't know the stuff, but crimes like this, these people don't belong here okay but I know people got their morals and you stick with those morals because that's what make you human I don't think I must not be like too much of a human because I'd be like get rid of them like get rid of them especially when they got all this evidence get her out of here don't deserve and, and, and even if they are on death row it's not like they're gonna put the death so fast they keep these people on death row for 20 years too long by the way like get some of these people out of here because what's the point you just don't give them like a hundred life sentences like I just don't get that. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This was crazy. I didn't think it was that dark. I remember reading the title, but I just never clicked on it. Like I said, this was dark. So on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay safe. Don't look for jobs on Facebook, y'all. Don't meet up with people on Facebook. Just don't. Be careful, okay? And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. -bye.